Winning is great. Losing sucks. But terrible cards will, will deprive you of your bucks on Card Shark. And now the host of Card Shark, Matthew D. C. 1688. How do you like that? Hello, everyone. It's time now for the next episode of Car Sharks. Big John for the PC. Aubrey S. 1987 is the returning champion with $115,000. And he has elected to go head to head against Ben S. 7 1287 once again. Do it. Last time he went head to head against Larry 4009 and he won. And I ran the money card and I won the jackpot for $20,000. Yeah. And, as, and I'm sure you all know how to play, so let's get underway. Aubrey, we asked 100 married women. Did you hire, a, have you hired a private detective to follow your husband? How many of these 100 married women said that, yes, they've hired a, they've hired a private detective to follow their husband? Somebody's not very trustworthy. 38. 38 of 100 married women said they hired a private detective to follow the hubby. Ben, higher or lower than 38? Gotta get in the last room and call on. Call on. Um, higher. Going higher. If it is higher, Ben will play his cards. Aubrey, if it's lower than 38, you'll play yours. The actual number is 3. It is lower, not higher. And Aubrey, your base card is a six. Base card is a six. I'll keep it. I'll go higher. Keep in the six. Higher? It is a jack. That's correct. Lower. Lower than a jack? It is a six. Higher than a six? It is a ten. I'll freeze. Freeze on the ten, putting you one card away from game number one. And Ben, the next question is to you. Ben, we asked 100 married men. Is it the man's, in, the, in a marriage, is it the man's role to make all the really big decisions? How many 100 married men said, yes, it is the man's role in a marriage to make all the really big decisions? Gee, I'm not sure in that one. That one. Mm, I want to get a headache. Got a little bit of um don't want to try to think oh, but I'm gonna actually stay with thirty six of them. Thirty six of a hundred married men said it's the man's role in a marriage to make all the really big decisions. Uh Aubrey higher or lower than thirty six? I'm gonna go a little higher. A little higher. The actual number of these married men who said that it is the man's role in a marriage to make all the big decisions is fifty two. It is higher indeed. Aubrey, you have that 10. Oh, let's change it. When you win the question, you can change the base card. The 10 becomes a 7. I'll go higher. For the first game, higher than a 7? Oh, no, another 7. Ben, here's your base card. It's a 6. You have to play the 6. You did not win the question. By the way, this is the second episode of season number two, by the way. Ben, higher or lower than a six? Lower than a six. Um, um, oh, I'm going to say, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what's that? Oh, lower, going against the odds. Lower than a six? It is a five. It's a five. Higher than a five. It's a six. Kazuntite. Please. Freezing on the six, putting you two cards away from game number one. Question number three now goes to Aubrey. Aubrey, we asked 100 male millionaires 
Did you return a returnable bottle to the store to get your deposit back? How many of these hundred male millionaires said yes, they returned a returnable bottle to the store to get their deposit back? 20. 20 of 100 male millionaires said they returned a returnable bottle to the store to get the deposit back. Ben, higher or lower than 20? Higher. Going higher. The actual number of these male millionaires who returned a returnable bottle to the store to get the deposit back is? 57. It is higher. Now, Ben, you have that 6. Change. When you win the question, you can change the base card. The six becomes an eight. Seven plus one. Ugh, can't see odds higher. Higher. Higher than an eight? It's a jack. One call man. I'm gonna say lower. For the first game of the match, lower. It is a ten. And Aubrey, this is make or break for you. I'll go with make. And we're gonna deal out the cards. First question goes to Ben. Ben, we asked 100 single women. Oh, here we go. Ben, we asked 100 single women. Have you heard a man say, I think we could make beautiful music together to you? How many of these hundred single women said that they did hear a man say to her, I think we could make beautiful music together? Again with the horny writers! <laughs> Gee, that was why I sound horny, uh, horny as hell. <laughs> um, um, I have to call it 32 on this one. 32 of 100 single women said they heard a man say to her, I think we could make beautiful music together. Aubrey, higher or lower? I'm going to have to say lower. Go on lower. The actual number of these single women who heard a man say that phrase to them is... 48. It is higher, not lower. Oh, brother. Ben, your uh, base card is a 9. A 9. Brother is why. Change. Change it at 9. See if you make a good change. The 9 becomes a 7. Lower. Lower than a 7? No. Oh no, an 8. Oh boy. Aubrey, your base card is a 6. You have to play it. Higher than a 6? It's a seven. Three. Three's on the seven, putting you three cards away from game number two. Aubrey, we asked 100 ministers, would you approve to have drive-in churches? How many of these 100 ministers said they'd approve to have drive-in churches? Oh, we asked 100 ministers, would you approve to have... Do you approve of having drive-in churches? How many of these hundred ministers said they'd approve, said they would approve to have drive-in churches? Drive-in churches. I'm gonna have to go with I couldn't catch that. Oh, tw okay, I got you that time. 20 of 100 ministers said they'd approve to have drive-in churches. Ben, higher or lower than 20? Higher. Going higher. The actual number of these ministers who approved of drive-in churches is... 48. It is higher. Ben, you have that 7. Change. Changing that 7. You can win the ch question. You can change the base card. It's an 8. 7 plus 1. Uh, uh, I'm winning. That's the last time. Huh? the game. Higher than an 8? It's an 8! <laughs> Lower than an 8? It's a 5. Yeah. Higher than a 5. It's a jack! Ben, it's a jack. Okay. 
For the championship lower, it is a seven. Ben, you are a giant killer. You beat Aubrey, who leaves us with $115,000. And here we are at the money cards with Ben S71287. First time in a while that we've had somebody other than Aubrey at the money cards, but Aubrey, all good things come to an end. Hey, I did good. Yeah, you did. But you're leaving us with $115,000, so no shame there. Ben, we're at the money cards, and I'm sure you know how this works, so let's get it on our way then. Here's $200. And, of course, you bet your way across. You can change the base card one time per line. Same card goes up. It's a push, meaning you do not win and you don't lose. For two hundred dollars, Ben, you'll start off with a king. <laughs> two hundred lower. Oh, all right. All of it lower than a king. It's a four. Four hundred dollars and a four. Four hundred higher. Again, the whole thing. Four hundred dollars higher. Yes, a seven. Eight hundred dollars and a seven. Change number three. All right, changing that card with number three. Card number three is a five. Eight hundred higher. Taking a chance. Eight hundred dollars higher than a five. Oh. oh no, it's a deuce. But we'll move you to the next row. You have four hundred dollars of betting money. You have a great card. You have a great card of a deuce. You cannot lose. Betting it all. Come on. Be there higher. It's a four. Back to 800. 800 and a four. 800 and a four. 800 higher. Angie's calling me, but I'll decline that. He said 800 higher? Yeah. Okay. $800. Higher than a four? No. Oh, no! A three! Seven cars that could have beaten it, and one of them had to come up. Unfortunately, Ben, you're only leaving with 200 bucks, but we'll see if you can win the jackpot. It was 10, 000, it was 20,000 last time, but Aubrey won it, so now it's down to 10,000. So Ben, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Let's go with number two. Okay, is the dollar sign behind two? No. no. Seven. Oh, okay. So next time the jackpot will be worth 20000 And Ben, you have a one-game winning total of $200. And we'll see you all for that next episode in season number two of Card Sharks, Big John. So long, folks.